Hey there, Capricorn. I'm really, really here to do your next 48 hour reading. This is it. I'm really sorry that it's just that I've recorded this whole thing and it decided not to. That's like the second time. So I'm not going to um, be repooling these cards. Let's go over your reading though. Okay. So from the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle, we got Soulmate Energy. Meaning um, soulmate energy was a match made in heaven um, to surrender. And then I have the automatic negative thinking. So choosing what thoughts you want to give life to, what ones you want to give, um, what's, what thoughts do you want to seed and not seeding those um, automatic negative ones, right? Shooting star was interesting. It's coming in here. Maybe you know, talking about fame or something like that. It cannot be talking about dealing with an Aquarius. It says you are a shooting star, though. You are about to step into your fullest potential. So that's a very promising card. And then three, self-love. You are learning that your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself. Okay, then when I did ask the angels, I got compromise with the justice scales and don't stop compromise and don't stop. So if there's something that's starting to work well for you, then then keep at it. It's like, we'll keep at it. Um, trust all will be well was with this new moon, new moon in Virgo. So I'm guessing there's something, uh, maybe even with a court situation that will um, all be okay. All right, Seven of Swords, some kind of deception or somebody being sneaky around you was the issue in your in your reading. It was crossed by the Justice card, maybe dealing with authority, maybe dealing with um, a court case. It might have to do with something um, to do with the per like it might have to do with either your creation or you're the mother of somebody going through this. It could be a child, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. This is the past energy. Um, the now energy is really good. It's significantly better than being in this lying, cheating, stealing energy. So the, the gathering or the investigation, right? We could say that was past. And then on the now, I've got the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So we're moving forward towards a very successful, what feels like possibly a career or somebody, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that might be like shooting star, like going, it's going to progress really fast. And it leads to a celebration, a participation, more people participating on a common, on like a goal, placing down roots. Some of you all are moving because it was like this when it came out. Some of you all are not. The Knight of Wands is the movement card. So it is about fast movement towards what you want. Twice we have. So something's going to move really fast for you or around you in your world. This could be about travel. This is in your um, surrounding environment. There's fresh starts and something that's a brand new beginning. So a brand new beginning for you. And the hopes I had the temperance with the tower in reverse. I'm feeling this is like a tower overted because it's in the reverse by your spirit team, your angels helping. I feel like if this is about a court case or something like that, it's about getting opposing sides together or it's getting assistance, making something that you thought was impossible possible. Big changes come with the moon. This is basically changes. And um, make sure you, that you know as well as like hidden things, all hidden things, there's still hidden blessings to be found that you have not yet reached full potential. Underlying everything is the Queen of Swords. And I feel like this is the energy that you're stepping into, which is to get the truth in a situation, to get the truth of a matter here. Uh, whether it's self-deception or somebody that deceived you, you want to find out the truth and um, you hit your target. The Queen of Swords always hits their target. So that's what I had for you Um Capricorn, I feel so bad that that's like that. That's not how I wanted your reading to go. Um, but let's pull, let's pull something from the inner child oracle. Inner child oracle. Yeah, sorry. Okay, I have 
get lost. Sometimes we have to get lost so you can be found. The magic of imagination is calling you. Create space to get lost in exciting world. So it says read a book, watch a movie, write a story. <laughs> Let your imagination run wild. And then you can do hard things. There are many things in life we feel we cannot do or that we shouldn't have to do. It says, but take time and think about the beliefs that might be holding you back. Are you putting yourself in a box of what you cannot or should not have to do? All right. And that's what I got for you. Sending love and light. Bye Capricorn.